Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it is day 56 here on the series, I don't know why I didn't get a button there, but I didn't get a button there, that was weird. We are going to dive in with our birdhouse run as per usual before moving on to our herbs. And then we have just two attack levels to get, that is all that is remaining folks. Two attack levels and then we can do beneath curse sands and do... The raid. I'm really excited. We are on the final stretch. So today I am going to be chilling at Scurious. Hopefully getting, well we should get at least one level for sure. Two levels will probably be a bit of a stretch because 60k a level is quite a bit. But we will get as much XP as we humanly can within our time limit and then we'll probably have a little bit more to do tomorrow but maybe not a full day we might get to start beneath Cursed Sands. It's kind of thematic in a way that we started one hour limit locked at Scurious. Like a lot of our season one grinding was at Scurious, getting range levels. And now we are made our way full circle through a ton of other different training methods. And we're back to the point where Scurious is once again the optimal call for these last couple levels. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But we should probably get Scurry, shouldn't we? When I'm next at the bank, I will try and remember. I just want to shout out as well, some of my comments mentioned the Eclipse set as a potential option, which requires 75 ranged and 50 defense, which we have. So we could theoretically wear that armor. And they recommended it because it's good as sort of like a, a hybrid melee slash ranged option. It, and it is. It's, it is a potentially viable option there. I'm just not sure if I want to sacrifice a full switch. And maybe that sounds dumb because it's four extra invent slots or whatever that I could have. Three, I guess, or two at least. But I don't know. There's just a part of me that's so used to doing raids that way with four plus way switches between different styles. And we've already got like the Fury and the Brimstone doing hybrid duty. So I sort of just feel like for my own, like it's, it, it's weird to me if I'm swapping my mage gear, but not my range and melee gear as well. I don't know why that's weird to me, but using the same gear for melee and range, but not mage, just like it, it fucks with my head, honestly. So it might not be the optimal play, to not take the Eclipse, it, it may be the optimal place to take the Eclipse is more what I should say. And maybe I'll experiment with it later, but right now I just kind of want to stick to what, what I'm used to with the idea of having a different set for each. It will just keep things clearer in my head, as silly as it is. So yeah, I did just want to address that and not just read the comment and never mention why I didn't decide to. Assuming I don't still decide to, maybe I will. I'm very fickle. And if anyone's wondering about while Gothic sleeps, I did just finish recording my playthrough of that quest. It took me about five or six hours. It was a bit of a piss take, but it will come out eventually. One hour limit lock takes priority, so I figured I'd best record, edit, and get this out, but it'll be out in the next day or two, more than likely. Alright, let's go to... The GE as our closest bank. That clue scroll is still there. How long has that been there? Let's get our cash stack and our runes back. And then go to... Not the... I did it again. Okay. And then we're going to go to Scurious. 
food. I guess I'll just get some random food. Oh, while I'm here, though, I did remember a couple things that I wanted to buy. I wanted to get some anglerfish so I can eat them before going into the raids. So, not too many because they are expensive. And I also want, I'm going to need some more runes. So I'm going to need death runes again. I know I only sold them the other day, but I wasn't thinking. And yeah, we will need runes. So let's just put these away here and get the anglerfish tagged as raid. Okay, so that's down there along with my other pre-pots runes. We're going to need blood chaos. And then the question is if I want to bring so water or soul as well. Well, I will want to bring water at least so I can freeze the crocodiles. I don't think bringing soul runes is worth it. Yeah, I don't think bringing soul runes is worth it. We would probably have access to barrage. Maybe after the first day, I'll be able to get a better idea of whether we'd have it. I'm pretty sure the boost from smelling salts would get us to 92 because they're like plus 20s but we'll we'll basically like double check on our first attempt and see. Make sure. Okay and then we want some more lobsters. Thank you very much. I think that's all we want. Let's go to a DDS. A DDS as well. Let's go to Varrock. Oh a jeweling ring I want minded. Oh well. Oh, my quick prayers are still on chivalry. I need to swap that over to piety. Hello, new prayer. Who dis? I think I'm just going to go full prayer today. I might start flicking for a bit. We'll see how I feel. In fact, I might just turn my sound effects down in anticipation of potential flicking. Oh, I kind of want to see if I can get the shadow sword as well while I'm down here. Because they were annoying. Oh, that is a lot of prayer for one kill. Yeah, I can't really see those shadows very well. Maybe it's the transparency thing? No. I'm not sure what to say about this whole shadow situation. I'm guessing it is 117. They're not just lighter than I remember. Of course, it's not going to stomp now. Mm, they seem pretty light there too, to be fair. I feel like they used to be better. I don't know. It's got to be something. Well, it can't be in there because they were still bad on the old one. With nothing on. Fuck knows. Maybe it's my monitor. For what it's worth, we are estimated to be working at about 100k attack XP per hour, give or take. So of course, uptime depends on how often we have to bank prayer potions and things like that. I don't actually have any prayer potions, so I'd have to go to the GE, but that's our best way to bank at the minute anyway, because I didn't bring a jeweling ring. <laughs> oh, we got a spine and a clue scroll together. Very nice. Spines obviously do increase our... XP rate. That is an extra 5k in the bag. What's the clue saying? Who the fuck's that? Um, why didn't it give me a clue thing? What? Oh, Glugnar. He's the guy who has the shop outside Castle Wars. By Zerga Fleshy is. I don't know why it didn't. hasn't shown up though. We just got a hit points level though. I'm going to tr trade this uh, thing straight in and I'm, I'm really curious if it's just this step that's broken or something and not showing me the pop-up, so fuck it, I'm going to do it. And I also forgot my nature runes, which we'd want for this, and my jeweling ring, which we want for me, and I may as well buy some more prayer pots while we're at the GE. Lovely stuff. Speak to Oglugna. Hey everyone, just have to interject with a quick note from Eddie to me. I wasn't wrong about this. There is something currently bugged about this clue, and it is due to the release that happened today of the Wild Gothic Sleep Quest. While investigating, I realised what had changed that had caused this, and blurted it out like an idiot. So this is a spoiler warning for While Guthic Sleeps. If you haven't done the quest yet, and you don't want to know any spoilers, skip ahead to the timestamp that I have conveniently inserted during editing at this point. All I'm going to be saying is, there's an NPC who's been in the game for a while who dies during this quest, and I say their name because it relates to this clue. So yeah, if you don't want to get spoiled, skip ahead. What is 19 to the power of 3? 6, 8, 5, 9? But why is it telling me Hazelmere? Well, that bugged out. <gasps> Hazelmere's dead! That's why! Oh, no. 
Oh, that hit me. Sorry, guys, if you haven't got while go fix sleep spoilers. While go fix sleep spoilers. Holy shit, that's why it didn't show up because it's just been rerouted and the clue didn't. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to get moving. I need to get moving. Let me shit. Okay, I'm gonna edit that out. Probably. Or edit a spoiler warning onto it. I don't know. I have to do something because, yeah, because spoilers. Okay. All right, I need more prayer than I need. Gosh, that threw me then. I, I'm, I lost some time there. Wait, but he, is, he isn't yet. Because I haven't done it on this account. So I guess they just changed it no matter, like, permanently. His one no longer has a clue step. Because I haven't done the quest on this account yet. I just did it on my main account. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I was wondering what they were going to do if they killed off those NPCs. Like, wait, who else died? I can't remember who died. I'm going to have to go and check that up rather than talking about it here in potential spoilers for those who haven't done the quest yet. That next step had something to do with you nil. I was actually pretty close to it, come to think of it. But, I, yeah, I would... Just trying to reroute my whole brain processing after questioning the whole why wasn't that showing up thing. I didn't actually want to do the clue. I just wanted to know if that step was bugged and it is sort of bugged because it hasn't been updated yet to match the new. Hopefully we can still get a level in today. It's saying 25 minutes estimated, so shouldn't have disrupted us too much. You can always rely on one hour man to get sidetracked by a clue. Rune full helm on that kill. Not too bad. Haven't had many rat spawns recently though. Oh, I totally forgot about Scurry again. Yay! Thank you for the DPS uptime. kill that's what you like to see i feel like i've said this like three times but i'm also not sure i've said it at all so for the benefit of whether or not i have these kills are incredibly quick sorry if i'm repeating myself my brain has honestly been scrambled ever since that whole clue debacle <laughs> You know Gilnar Games, they did that PvP challenge where you weren't allowed to use your F keys, you could only do it one-handed. I think I would actually be okay at that challenge. Not that I'm good at PvP, but because I spend so much time with my vape in my hand, I'm actually quite practiced at the whole tab switching thing, you know what I mean? Because I handicap myself on a daily basis, just by existing. I'm giving us another spine soon, lad. It's felt a bit dry out lately. Keep those potion doses running nice and high. Want to get the absolute maximum XP rates possible here. Finish off this grind with no delay, even for a clue scroll. I mean, if there's a few minutes left at the end of a session after tomorrow, when we've got the attack level, then maybe I'll knock out the medium crew scroll. You know, just in case we get a a range of boots. They are fairly quick after all, and most steps are more than doable. And there it is, ignore my messy rat kills. 69 attack, 90 overall combat level, just one more level to go. 
we will be entering raids as level 90 in entry level that is roughly 40 minutes expected to the next level so if we stay for another 10 if we can manage to make our invent last another 10 minutes then we'll have roughly half an hour to do tomorrow we should have a bit of time to work on beneath curse sands as well which is nice in case it takes us more than a session because who knows it might well it's been a while since i've done that quest well, last time i did it was in leagues so that doesn't really quite count because everything's different in leagues oh no oh no No, F's in chat for me. Oh, it's a good job I didn't get Scurry out of the bank in it. It would have almost been poetic though, in a way, losing him again, at his own career. Oh no, I didn't mean to do a prayer pot then. Right, let's just go to the bank real quick. Oh, lovely! He gives three rat spawns this kill. I'm gonna leave these ones so I can have up time between the kill though. Sure, we'll be able to get at least two more kills in here. Of course, I'm always praying for that spine drop for the bonus 5k. We'll cut down the farm in time. We have significantly, we have only 68k experience left in our grinding tool. Thank you very much. Ooh, full prayer potion. Probably just one more now. Mm, maybe I can squeeze another in. Never know till you try. Nothing better to do in my last minute and a half. And we did manage to get just one more in. Final click on the poll. Bam. Okay, so we got about half an hour left on the clock on that attack training. So we will be starting beneath Curse Sands tomorrow, which is nice. For sure. We are looking good on the supplies front now. I've got absolutely everything I need. I can't think of anything else that I could possibly need here. The only thing that I might just want in the tab for the sake of getting to the raid is these two. But yeah, we've got all our gear and supplies, all our, maybe some fire runes as well. But other than that, you know, fire runes are expensive. We got everything we need. We've got still about three mil coins if we need to buy more supplies or anything along with 7 million miscellaneous so we're not in danger of going broke anytime soon we should be fairly well prepared to go into raids after we finish off this final attack level and hit a clean 70 70 70 75 75 70 maybe not so clean on 76 ranged but hey ho, we do what we can it's gonna look as like a super smooth combat stat page and we will still be around 90 levels, which is very nice indeed. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, comment down below with your excitement for raids. I love to hear it. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. We have just one more day of training left to go. And beneath Curse Sands, and then we're through those doors. We're into the tomb, baby. Let's do it. We're almost there. Until next time, though. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.